Hello guys, welcome to JGK Master Class. Guys, in today's video, we will be learning about the reactions of uh, mesoionic compounds with alkenes and alkynes from heterocyclic chemistry. Since your exams are very nearby and you all are busy in your studies, you can watch my other videos on, from retrosynthetic analysis, stereochemistry, organometallic and many more topics. Uh, you can just go and as you know that my channel is based on the problems and solutions uh, from your MSc chemistry uh, uh, papers only previous years papers. So, you will be solving many more questions here. You can watch the videos and get the confidence and uh, attempt these questions uh, if it comes to your final exams. Guys, and uh, to encourage me, I, it is my request that please do subscribe my channel and uh, share it with your friends and like it uh, so that I will get confidence and uh, I can make more and more videos uh, from your MSc chemistry topics. So, now we will start. So, we will see our very first problem. You can see here the question is like uh, write the product in the following reaction. So, the reaction is given to you where you have a five membered heterocycle. So, what is heterocycle? As the name suggests, hetero, hetero atom must be present in the cyclic ring. So, heterocycle, you can see here you have a nitrogen and oxygen. So, it is heterocyclic compound. And uh, since we are talking about the reaction of this heterocyclic compound with alkene, so now we have written the term that called mesoionic. So, why we are calling it mesoionic? What is mesoionic? When you have a five membered heterocycle, which possesses the sextate of electrons. So, you have a six electron contribution in the ring with the hetero atom present into it with the one exo group uh, which uh, stabilize uh, this uh, positive charge. So, it is uh, called the mesoionic compound which uh, is a covalent polar structure which possesses a sextate of electrons. So, here you can see the position of the hetero atom oxygen and nitrogen here 1, 3 to each other. If you give number 1, 2, 3 so, the position is 1, 3 to each other. So, there are actually two types of mesoionic compound. One is called type A, other is called type B. So, when the two hetero atoms are 1, 3 position to each other, it is called type A. When the position of the two hetero atom is 1, 2 to each other, it is called type B. So, basically, here the two hetero atoms are contributing 2 to electrons uh, in the ring, two non adjacent hetero atom contributing 2 to electrons. And rest uh, is providing uh, two electrons. So, this is the sex state of electron and it is a type A mesoionic compound. Now, how to show the chemical reaction and the product? So, we have this structure where you can see the numbering I have started with the oxygen. So, you are giving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total uh, 5 atoms are there in the ring and it is called 1, 3 oxazolium 5 olate. So, 1 oxa because oxygen is at one position. Aza is at 3 position, so azo, lium because you have a positive charge in the ring, so 1, 3, ox, azo, lium. 5, O8, you have oxygen with a negative charge, so 8 and it is the position at 5, so 5, O8. So, the name is 1, 3, ox, azo, lium, 5, O8. Basically, you can have any combination of heteroatom here. The reaction will remain the same, the type of mechanism will remain the same. So, we will first write down the 1, 3 dipolar site, the active site from where we will show the addition. For that, uh, we will be representing the resonating form of it. You can represent like this. And later on with the resonance, uh, you can see this uh, oxygen having a negative charge, resonating structure, double bond gives uh, electron to this R3, the carbon bearing the R3 group. So, you will get a negative charge. This is just like a... Uh, resonance structure and since here you are not nitrogen is having positive charge so this bond is trying to give its electron which satisfies its nitrogen positive charge because nitrogen being uh, electronegative having a positive charge is less stable compared to carbon bearing a positive charge. So basically you are getting here one three dipole structure where we will show the addition. So if you have already revised your notes uh, you must be familiar what all terms I am uh, telling here. And basically, uh, one trick is also there uh, if you are not aware of this structure. So, wherever you have this uh, O minus or exo group possessing a negative charge, the adjacent carbon you can put a negative charge so that you can show the resonance uh, among the two sites 
So put a negative charge here and the third position with respect to this you put a positive charge so that you can show the addition. Now this is our active site and ready for the addition reaction with the alkene. So you can see here this alkene is given to us and we will show the 1, 3 dipolar addition and you can notice the uh, arrow that the negative the electrons are donating to the CH2 followed by the CH is going to donate this electron to the positive carbon. And so you can see you are generating here 6 member ring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Nitrogen uh, will go on the bridge hat and so you will get this structure which is a bicyclic adduct here and you can notice here on heating the loss of carbon dioxide can occur. So the loss of carbon dioxide will give you a more stable 5 membered ring. Again, you are getting one electron, one bond is giving its electron, will get a positive, other will get a negative charge because it is getting electron and you can write down the 1, 3 dipole structure. Followed by, you can just rearrange the hydrogen migration and tautomerization, you will get the final product. So, ultimately with the 5 membered heterocyclic reaction with alkene will give you 5 membered heterocycle, possesses a, here in this case, uh, possesses a nitrogen as a heteroatom. Next problem is the same kind problem. You can notice here again you have an alkene which uh, is the electron withdrawing group and you have a 5 member heterocycle having 2 non adjacent heteroatom with 1 exo group. So you can see this is a mesoionic type A mesoionic compound and the reaction with alkene Two products, as you can see in the previous two products means one was the carbon dioxide, other was your five-membered heterocycle. So now if you are sure about and you understood this mechanism, you can uh, hold the video and uh, you can try to solve it yourself and then you can see the solution. Solution you can see that again we will try to write down the 1,3 dipole structure. The, to show the addition. So, as I told you the trick that bring a negative charge near to the exogroup. So, uh, we have written the negative charge here and the third position you write on the positive charge. So, this is the 1, 3 dipole a resonating structure of it active site which is ready to show the addition reaction and same way like we have done the previous you can show the 6 member bicyclic adduct. Here again on heating loss of carbon dioxide will be there which will generate 1, 3 dipole. And on tautomerization, you will get the 5 member heterocyclic compound as your product. So, in this way, it is very easy to show the mechanism and to form the product, and it is one of the important uh, reactions for your exam. Next, you can see here you have alkyne, and you have again 5 member heterocycle which is a mesoionic compound type A because two non adjacent heteroatom here instead of oxygen you have sulfur with one exo group. So, if this structure is given again the addition we know here 1, 3 dipolar cyclo addition takes place when you have a mesoionic compound. So, you can show the same 1, 3 dipolar addition or you can show directly here also because uh, when you are trying to generate 1, 3 dipole this double bond will give its uh, electron to nitrogen will get a positive charge. So, either way you can show here I am showing you directly, so electron donation from this carbon, acetylene will give its electron to the neighboring carbon followed by the migration which satisfies the positive charge of the nitrogen. So you will get same way 5 member, uh, this uh, bicyclic adduct, 6 member ring, bicyclic adduct you will get here again loss of OCS here will give you the positive and negative charge on rearrangement which will generate the 5 membered heterocyclic compound as your product. So, this uh, problem, all the problems which I am discussing here is belongs to your previous year question paper only. So, this problem again from your MSc previous year paper that you can see here you have a heterocyclic compound. So, 5 membered heterocyclic one, one exo group you have instead of 2, now 3 heteroatom is present and we know uh, when we have uh, 3 heteroatom present, uh, it is called sidnone, which is again a mesoionic compound, sidnone, very important uh, molecule under mesoionic compound and DMAD is given, so you should know what is DMAD so that you can write down the structure of the product. 
and you can see what is DMAD. It is dimethyl acetylene dicarboxylate. So dimethyl acetylene A for acetylene dicarboxylate. Same molecule like we have written for previous reaction. And then the same you write down 1,3 dipole structure to it. Bring a negative charge near to the carboxyl, this carbonyl group and positive charge to the 1,3 position. So that you can show the 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition reaction. And with this bicyclic adapt, you can show on heating loss of carbon dioxide, which will give you five membered heterocycle. Here in this case, it possesses the two nitrogen adjacent to each other, which is called pyrosols. So basically, you can design with the help of mesoionic compounds, five membered heterocyclic compounds, which is very important category from the heterocyclic chemistry. And so I assume that now you got this trick uh, how to write down the 1,3 dipolar uh, structure of the mesonic compound so that you get the correct structure of the product and you can secure marks full. So all the best for your exam. See you with the next video. Till then, bye.